Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dee, and if you're new here, hi, how are you? Hope you guys are having a terrific Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, however you do it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the tremendous love and support that you guys have been showing, whether it's on YouTube, my, on my Patreons, or when you guys um, direct message me on social media, which I have all my info down below in the description box below. And if you don't know, yes, I do have a Patreon with full episodes, so if you like, head that way. Or that way, or that way, whatever. But yes, full Patreons um, episodes over there. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, subscribers are going up, and I just can't thank you guys enough. Um, I did not meet my 10K goal for the month, but it's okay. Because that's a goal for next month. When you don't make the goal, just push the goal. So it's okay. 10 month, 10 month, 10K is my goal for the month of March. But other than that, today we're going to be diving into It's Always Sunny. Why can't I get this out? Into It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We are on season six, episode seven. Did you guys know or think that I was going to love this show? Like, be honest in the comments. Did you guys think I was going to hate it or love it? Because I'm actually shook it that I'm in season six of this show. Like, I really am. Like, I, I, I can't. I can't understand it because I'm like, wow, these this whole time. But, you know, I love them. I love the crew, the gang, whatever you guys call it. I love the jabronis. I love you guys. That is what you guys are going to be called. You guys all wanted to be called jabronis. So, therefore, always, in the, always sunny Philadelphia crowd, you guys are my jabronis. So, let's get into it. We should get some chalk and some erasers because that dust cloud... You know, really shows the laser beam alarms. Oh, and so a little dust see. cloud going. We got so I'm clear, you guys don't actually think that things are going to come alive because you're spending the night in a museum. Is there something wrong with that? Now, whether that means uh, Charlie running into his ancient spirits or us having to just, you know, run away from security guards all night. Either way, what the hell is the matter with you? You've been stuffing your face for days. It's right? fatness, Frank. Plain and simple. It's a person becoming fat before your eyes. And do yourself a favor and flush it out. Wait a second. You definitely said that before. You're we don't care about you or your body or your baby or that baby bird that you're probably carrying inside of you. <laughs> We're talking about the Halloween party where one of you got me pregnant. But, you know, since you guys don't care about me or my body or my baby or whatever it was that you were saying, we shouldn't talk about it. Okay, first of all, she is beyond pregnant she's showing and it's out there second of all um for her to say that to those four i feel like only two of them can be her baby daddy and i'm hoping only two of them can be her baby daddy meaning only mac and charlie have a great time guys why is frank looking oh, at them like that how are you party? party? I was wasted. Yeah, me too. I, I browned out that evening. When you drink so much that everything goes... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You guys. So she barely thought of... To, she barely thought to tell them it might be one of theirs. Like, I'm just confused because I'm like, she's showing. Like, she's out there. She's showing. It's Brian. Never heard of that before. There's a good reason for that, Frank, because I think Mac just made it up on the spot. I did. You did? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So I think our best chance of figuring this out is for us to all put our browns together, mash them together, and try and figure out which one of you two banged my sister. Public domain want. at that It becomes point. public domain. And now we're just trying to figure out who banged Dave. That's the important thing. Let's not, let's not focus too much on the brown if thing. If it It'll was... I remember we were all in costume, and our costumes were pretty cool, except for yours. I was really pissed off at you because we agreed to go as Mario and Luigi. Doing? Where's your Mario costume? No, I went with a sexier look. Sexy? Bro, we agreed on funny over sexy this year, so we could disarm the ladies. I'm that character from Lord of the Rings, Vigil Morgenstein. That's okay, that know, is not the character's name. That. That's the actor's name. And turn up for our party. <laughs> I want to save your blood. It's twilight time. Okay, first of all, Frank, what the hell is? Why is he wearing those glasses? Second off, Charlie, you do not look like a vampire. I'm thinking more or less like Zoro or something like that. But I'm like, well, you know what? Let, let me stop. Stocks are all into vampires and stuff, you know, because of the stupid Twilight movie and all that other crap. You know, so I'm like, what if the waitress is into it? And I'm surprised you even know who the Phantom of the Opera is. He might not. He doesn't. No, I don't. I don't. This party blows. I'm a sexy angel. Well, are we supposed to pretend like you're not dressed like a giant bird? I mean, if you're going to be sexy, don't dress. Y'all, why they do D like that? Just when I think they can't insult her, I'm like, she looks pretty. She's an angel. 
The wings. The wings got her called a bird again. Besides, did you guys see that coos over there? <laughs> Dressed in like a peacock? <laughs> Big giant bird. Okay, if we look at this picture, you guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but why does D already look pregnant? Doesn't she look pregnant right here? Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, she wears it very well. She wears it so well, in fact, that I have now pinpointed her as my prey for the evening. Out of my way, bird. This is all sounding right. I remember this. Yeah, yeah this all yeah. sounds right to you? Okay. See, I distinctly remember there being some kind of a commotion at the other end of the bar. I was starting to get pretty close to sealing the deal with the peacock lady. Look, dude, you've been bugging me all night. Okay, I think your costume's weird. The costume is so sexy. What? I can't believe it, man. She takes advantage of me. She's like, oh my god, you look so sexy. I'm gonna sex you all up. What do you, what do you, did you want to get rid of that costume? Yes, I want to get rid of the costume. You know what I mean? I just, it's like to be the sexy. I can't have your costume, dude. Switch. You'll be okay, buddy. Yes, dude, it's all coming back to me now. You came over to me, and we agreed to switch costumes. You gave me your sexy, sexy, so awesome, dude. Well, mystery solved. I mean, awesome. For you. That's not the mystery. It's yeah, sure not. That you banged the peacock, chick. Well, clearly, from that story, Charlie, you're the one that banged her. That's why you were feeling so much remorse and regret, and you had the tears coming out of your eye. I mean, who wouldn't? Because I remember crying. No. What? Those were tears of joy. Yes, and it wasn't because of D, obviously. I was with the McPoyle brothers over at the jukebox. And I just finalized the delicate truce with them. We bumped fists and D walked by. Oh, hey. Not them drinking milk. Like, he has milk. D? Hey, Charlie. Great costume. Hey, I see you received my invitation. Yeah, Charlie, I received all 100 of them. Hey, hey. The lady's taken. Get out of my face, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. We want to get your ass kicked. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, God damn it. I got milk all over me. Charlie's dream. I made out with the waitress. That's amazing, man. I got no, you did it. it. I'm out of here. Charlie. I got what? Didn't what? No, you did it. Come on, First Frank. First of all, don't say I went as Spider-Man. I didn't go as Spider-Man. I was Man Spider. He had some makeup sex in a dump. First of all, he should have stuck with Spider-Man because this looks ridiculous. They're out in the back of Wendy's. <laughs> yeah! And she and we were going berserk. She loves that kind of stuff. And I, 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 I admit I do too. Frank, Duh. Frank, we don't need to hear this part of the exactly. story. Exactly. Okay? So I walked away. That's when you were doing your thing. I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. Leave us alone. I oh. Oh. God damn it! I got milk all over me! You are insane! Insane. After you broke free, you wandered off muttering something about the costume being too sexy. Not from you! Now Artem is getting around. Correct. Artie, oh thanks for coming too quick. Listen, we're trying to piece together a night and we need some guidance. Last Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Anything ring a bell? That was quite a night. I suppose I do recall a few bits and pieces. <laughs> okay, so he's telling the truth about that. In a way that he found very this is not the part that we, why does everybody think that we want to know because about Because it's that? really interesting and innovative. Hey, let's get back to Halloween. Anything else that happened that night, like Deandra getting pregnant? Oh, well, that makes sense. Mac. So it was Mac? I'm talking about the sounds of hot, passionate love making that was coming from the bathroom that I had heard with mm -hmm. my own two ear balls. He was incensed that her costume was covered in milk. So she went to the bathroom to clean herself up. Apologized to me, and after a few minutes, we decided to have makeup sex in the in men's room. But oh. the door was locked, and I heard the passionate, unmistakable sounds of love making. Well, there you have it. Max the dad. Max, Max the daddy? Max the dad, oh. Jeremy. Max, Max the, the dad. dad. I'm, not the, Ma I'm not the dad. Damn it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to admit this, but I guess I have to tell you. <sighs> okay, here goes. I was in the back of the bar. Well, no time for an ocular pat down. Not in my bar, bro. I secured the area and I retained order. I had douchebag blood all over my knuckles, so I went to the bathroom to clean it off. That's when D came in. Oh, hey, D. <laughs> don't give a shit, D, okay? I don't know how you're gonna get all that milk off of you. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, you know, annoying. Whoa, Margaret, what are you doing here? God, that is so gross. You're always doing that. Are you trying to tell us something? <gasps> Hold on a second. Mac! Well, the, her brothers were at the party, so why not? So are you telling us that you had sex with Margaret McPoyle that night? 
Mm. Yes. Oh. The only consistent part about every single one of these stories is that the McPoyles were there and they were drinking milk, which means they were stone cold sober that night. They could probably confirm. I thought it was the girl with the, you know, the thing thing down there in between her legs. I thought that's who it was. The truth. Ah, shit. I remember that night well. As do I. Quite well. You were all very, very, very drunk. That's like the whole truth. You know, that's all there is to it. And if you guys are cool with it, then I'll be perfectly cool with it. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> cool guys, good juice, good juice, good juice, good juice. Ah, oh, hey, babe. Sorry, do I know you? Who's this jerk? Uh, this is my boyfriend. What the hell? Whoa, time out, buddy. What's going on here? Offend your honor! Ah, Matt, get my back! Ah, ah, oh. Hey. Uh, I'm insanely high on mescaline. Damn, Mac. They were only in there a short moment together before Dee came back out. Mac kicked her out of the bathroom so he could make sweet love to Margaret in private. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's enough, all right? God, that's your sister. Hey. Go <laughs> Jesus, man, fuck? I'm sorry. Fine, I'll call, call her. her. Hey, you. Everybody thinks you're so hot, huh, you big hot bird. Well, I tell you what, you take it off and switch me. Listen, all right, number one, it's a win-win for both of us. That weird plumber, he's gonna leave you alone for the rest of the night. That's good, right? And then the second great thing for you is I'm not gonna beat the shit out of you. Well, let's see who's sexy now, dickwads, because I look good. Dee was clearly on a warpath to prove to one of you that she was indeed sexy. She assumed he would be the easiest to take advantage of. And so, she took Charlie into the back office and had her way with him. That wasn't me. What? That wasn't me. I switched costumes with Dennis. That was Dennis. <gasps> no. So Dennis thought DeAndre was the peacock chick. So Dee thinks that I'm the dad, but Dennis, you're the dad! Dennis? Delightful. Oh shit, I'm gonna be sick. <coughs> Don't flush. Don't flush. I thought you had sex with Charlie, but it was Dennis that you went into the back room with. <laughs> See? <laughs> I had sex with you, it was sex with me. It was sex with me. Are you kidding me? I did not have sex with Dennis. Yes, you did! <laughs> yeah, all right, look, look, you went in the back office with him, not me. You thought it was me because you wanted sex from me. Gross! No, that did not happen. I, have you guys been obsessing about this all night long? Yes! Yeah? No, oh, none of you are the father. I've just told you that because you were making fun of me for eating the sandwich, and I thought it would upset you and get you going, and it did. It worked. <laughs> oh! Who's the dad? <laughs> Don't give a shit. You just said so. You were up all night. You were you were thinking about it all night long. True. Yeah, but that was before yeah. when you said it was one of us. Yeah. Now that it's not one of us, I mean... Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Man, I really got some bullet on that one. Yeah, yeah, well, we all yeah. did. We all did, Hey, yeah. you look like a, a, an ostrich! Yes! Right? That's yes. Gonna, yes. I was gonna say... No, I was... I I want to call her an emu, but I want to save it for you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 just a jest, sort of the general, general whatever. <laughs> because they really had me going. They really had me going. And this is I this is probably like the second time that this has happened where I believe them because they seemed very believable. And it comes to find out that no, it's not. And I'm like, I said in the beginning, you know, like I was like, no, there's no way that it's Dennis and Frank because it's her brother and her dad. So I'm like, it had to be them two. And then this came around and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I don't know that, that was, that was a lot. But I actually, if I'm being honest, I like when they go into like story time like this, like where they're all sitting down in this like playbacks of the story. I actually like that. I feel like there's been like three episodes like that. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've seen at least three. But question. So is D really pregnant? Is D having a baby? Who is the dad? I gotta know who is the dad. And um ew about Artemis, not her and Frank. And um Mac, do better because I don't even know her name, but ugh, just too much. But I think that was I think the scene where the ostrich was inside of the freaking bathroom chef's kiss because that was so cool how they made the freaking well i don't know if they made it but how the ostrich was like talking making the noises and mac was like going back and forth like that was like an epic scene like that was good but 
Once again, amazing episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for Always Sunny Philadelphia. Until next time, my jabronis. Bye.